வணக்கம் கிருஷ்ண மெக்கேன்சி வாட் இஸ் அ ஃபூட் ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஷோ யூ ஸோ சோலிட்யூட் ஃபார்ம் இஸ் எ குட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் அ ஃபூட் ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஃபூட் ஃபாரஸ்ட் ரைட் மேக்ஸ் யூஸ் ஆஃப் ஆல் தி ஐடியாஸ் இன் பர்மர் கல்ச்சர் எஸ்பெஷலி தி ஐடியாஸ் ஆஃப் இன்டர் கிராப்பிங் பிளான்ஸ் அக்கார்டிங் டு தேர் ஃபிசியோலாஜிக்கல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் அண்ட் தேர் டைம் ஜூரேஷன் So the first thing we would do is when we would be exploring uh creating a food forest would be to plant maximum amount of fruit trees. So here we've got sapota and there behind there's lemons and mango there's tamarind and um over here we have cur- we have a uh, sweet lime mosambi and we even have the palm fruit. I mean that looks insignificant to some people but i can assure you we use the the palm fruits we use the nungu that's when they they have this mucusy middle bit which is very cooling for the body and we plant the 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 seeds and we have the palm root which is delicious here we have the traditional amla and behind there we have ramfal so you know there's just a whole bunch of fruit trees just in a very small area and then we have things like the agati spinach that was uh, just behind you in the beginning of the shot and then we have things like the drumstick spinach this this variety is particularly awesome with really you know look at these really long drumsticks and then you have things like the bananas that are coming up everywhere and pineapples in this new field that we've just made ready we have tapioca which is planted and in this tapioca are also spinaches and ladies fingers that will come up later on in the season in july we'll plant beans that will climb up the tapioca so come this way and i'll show you some more so over here we have over here we have ramfal and more ramfal There's so much ramfal. Ramfal as as you might have seen from the last videos is this tree we don't even plant it anymore. It grows on it grows like a weed, but it gives us so many fruits and they're so tasty. Also this tamarind here. This also starts to produce. We use the fruits and we use the leaves and uh, there's value in the seeds as well. I would say that one of the really interesting results of the food forest is not only this nutritional sort of bounty but it's you start to explore oh i can use this and i can use that and the seed for this can be used as a medicine or this seed can be made to make a, even a paint you know or, or this seed is very good for doing this or there's so much usage of of the plants you know the palm tree is the best example with the leaves you can even use it to make paper you know the traditional text the ancient esoteric texts are all written on the palm leaf if we go this way you'll see underneath this tree here underneath the ramfal you'll see there's a lot of tipuli growing so this tipuli is a really indian plant you know i would say there's a lot of plants that aren't indian like the tomato potato peanuts chili they all come from south america but the tipuli is a truly indian plant it's the long black pepper in latin the pepper longum and it loves to grow in the shade so it's growing all in this area where we can't really grow other things if we grow if we go this way we start to see the papayas so there's papayas everywhere and as i showed in a video before when they get too big we start cutting them and they start branching on the side we also have drumstick literally everywhere because the drumstick we use the leaves all the time we use the flowers we use the seeds we use the 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 um vegetable here is a very nice example of the tipuli growing underneath this uh, custard apple here you know you see how how well that space has been occupied because this is ragi which is growing next to it in this field so this ragi is possible because there's just enough light in between the fruit trees but underneath that that uh, custard apple there's no more light so we couldn't do anything else there so valuing the plants according to their 
you know, their characteristics. Oh, this one likes the shade, this one likes to climb, this one, you know, this one needs more light. So those are the, those are the features of our intervention in the food forest. But what's very interesting in the food forest is things start to grow without us trying. Come, let's go this way. So one of the nicest examples of, of um, what we can call a volunteer plant is the turkey berry, the sundakai. So this wild brinjal, since the lockdown, has made, you know, real, um, you know, has had a real comeback because people have been very willing to start to say, well, hang on, you know, wake up, let's start to understand what foods grow easily. This is a weed. It grows up everywhere. And yet, there's a lot of Westerners who don't have this in their culture and they send photos in the WhatsApp group of, oh, I did this and I made a chutney and I made a curry with the coconut, it's so delicious. There's people who are utter fans of this. If we could get the whole of Tamil Nadu to eat this once a week, I think questions like diabetes would be addressed, you know, liver problems. This is an amazing plant. Another plant that comes up on its own is the um, uh, uh, spinaches, like this. This is the what we call the satinikire. So it's coming up in many places on the farm, like this. This is the satinikire. And all these leaves, they get, they get used and in a samba, they're very, very delicious. But we also have things like the, um, like the chicken spinach. So the chicken spinach, which is quite well known, it's literally going everywhere. So every foot step that you make, you see, oh, there's food and there's some more food. You know, and there's some more food. There's the spinaches are everywhere. There's so many spinaches. And there are other spinaches as well that are as well that are less known. I think this one is called, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's called Yelikar Kire. Uh, uh, rat ear spinach or yellow ye Yelisut Kire, I think, I'm not sure. But again, this can all be eaten. And within this, there are also weeds that are very valuable. Like the Kirinelli, this is very good for kidney cleanse and liver cleanse and for jaundice. And then you have things like the blue flower. Look, I'm just walking around here. I'm not even, you know, trying to show you. This blue flower is, is very good for our memory, for women, for uterus, for, for you know, neurological things. And it's pretty much everywhere. And as we go around, again, there is tapioca, which is coming up on its own. There's tour dal. This dal here will, um, is a perennial tour dal, and it will give us dal. They're, they're pretty much scattered all over the farm. It has a three meter tap root, and it, um, you know, it's this most, what, it's the dal that you find in all the, the restaurants where it give you have a South Indian meal. And underneath it, look what's there. There's another spinach. This is called the Manatakali. This is also everywhere on the farm. Oh look, I didn't even notice. There's also some cluster beans, you know, just growing here and there, some beans. Okay, let's go this way a little bit. So in a little field like this, we have uh, more dal, more tour dal, cowpea dal, we have the, the tsundakai, the more fruit trees, the papayas, we have soursop over here, and um, some gourds growing, some curry leaf I can see coming up over there which looks really nice. And we also have um, the Glyrosidia. So the Glyrosidia is this amazing tree that we use a lot to um, to return organic matter back to the field. So this is used as a, what we call a chop and a drop. So you chop it and you throw it back to the field as an organic matter. You know that's a that's a very valuable plant, and we you know it's it's used very strategically in alleys. I'll show you in a, in, a, in a minute over here. This video is going to be a little longer today. You know, we have this really social media thing, a one minute video, three minute video. Come on, this is beautiful. Relax, pause, go and get a tea, come and sit down and enjoy this with me. Look at this raggy, it's beautiful. It had one rain on Sunday 
and it's really taken off. Before here were sweet potatoes growing underneath the bananas and the ramphal and the soursop and the drumstick and the papaya. Here we have more sitipali, the long black pepper, underneath this amazing chiku and mango. And if you look over here, I really don't, I really don't, come on, come on. I really don't want to make you jealous, but this is mango season coming now. And they're going to be very yummy. This is a very delicious variety. And these chicos as well. We got different varieties of chicos. So some people say, oh, chicos are all finished. I say, well, yes, I'll finish. I was finished. And then after three weeks, we got another batch. And then we have another variety, and that's just given like a whole harvest as well. So we constantly have these different harvests of um, chiku. This is the ragi in flower. And I think this is really nice in a food forest where you all of a sudden you have a little open space. And in that open space you can do a little field crop, like a dal, or some millets, or this corn that's coming up here, or some eggplants. And then you have your hedges of um, Glyricidia like we have here. So this Glyricidia um, is being, again, it's used as a chop and drop. We cut it back and we throw it back to the field like that. And it's, it's decomposing, suppressing evaporation, returning organic matter, suppressing weeds, cooling the soil, you know, and just in general being something very, very positive. I think this is the most important technique if we want to do a food forest. Here we've got another amazing tree. This is called the bale fruit. And look in here. Have a, have a look. Come and look in here. Look. This is, uh, this is the, the eggplants. And in between is the sweet potato that's germinated again. This sweet potato we use all the time. And also we use this. This is called nanari. The nanari is the sarsaparilla. Have a look at that. So this bit, we take that off, and we have the root is a bit longer. Have, you have to dig it out, and you smash it and boil it, add some lemon. It's very, very delicious. So again, you keep going, you're, wow, there's so much diversity, you know? Here is the black velvet bean that's germinated again. The black velvet bean, four to seven percent dopamine. It's an awesome coffee substitute, good for Alzheimer's and for Parkinson's disease. I can keep going on, you know, in all these values. And I'm a layman. I'm not some big expert. You know, it's very convenient to make people an expert, but I really am not. This is very basic knowledge. Anyone can claim this knowledge by just living with all this for a while. But there's so much stuff, you know. The bale fruit, its juice is so tasty. And the leaves are very good as well. In chutneys, they're medicinal. If we go this way, I'll show you the last little bit. the light on these trees. I mean, isn't it absolutely glorious? Very, very lovely. Yeah. And here, here we have the stem of the guduchi. So the guduchi is the elixir of immortality. So this is a weed that climbs all over the trees, this is particularly on a few trees around here. And we make a powder from this stem and it, it you know, cures a whole range of diseases. I'm not a doctor. Go on Google, read about it yourself. Giloy or guduchi, G-U-D-U-C-H-I. It's an amazing plant. It's a weed. It's growing everywhere. People, you know, people buy these things in capsules. more ramphal coming up as a weed on its own. It's finding the space look. You got the edge of the mango there and you got the edge of the bale fruit there. It's finding just that little space where it might it might sort of work you know let's give it a chance. And again more tipply here underneath this bale fruit. So you see, 
That's to give you an impression of what a food forest is. This is my dream. I know that Mother Nature wants us to be well. Mother Nature wants to express herself and she will express herself if she's given a chance. So the very basis of a food forest is the philosophy of natural farming, of non-interventional farming, of valuing organic matter, returning it to the soil, recognizing that the soil is a divinity. You know, here in Oroville, we're especially, you know, motivated, moved by a, a devotion to the mother and Sri Aurobindo's yoga. And I can't think of anything more that expresses that bhakti, that devotion, than honoring all of these beautiful plants and eating them. The eating of them is an act of devotion. The returning of the organic matter back to the soil, facilitating this, this life in the soil, that's an act of devotion. You know, participating in this play, this is what a food forest is about. It's not another functional concept. It's something very alive. And in Oroville, especially for the Oroville audience, you know, this is possible. Thank you very much, and I will share more in the days to come.